What's up, you guys? Welcome back into iHeartRadio's wrestling podcast, the official wrestling podcast, the Battleground Podcast. And by the way, if you are listening to this on the iHeartRadio app, you can now talk to us on the show using that talkback mic, that little red microphone button. Uh, but there's something big happening coming up very, very closely just in a couple of weeks. It's on June 19th in our backyard at the historic fairgrounds. I'm talking about Slammiversary. It's cool because I, I grew up watching NWA TNA there at the fairgrounds. And this is 20 years to the day since their very first event as they celebrated uh, 20 years of TNA and Impact Wrestling. Of course, you could still grab tickets right now at impactwrestling.com. But you know what? This is a, a, an exciting day because our guest on the show uh, has not been on the show yet. So the good luck stays in here. Let's bring in the champ. There she is. Tasha hey. still joining the show. Tasha, thank you for coming on the show with us today. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. This is the first time, you know, you never forget your first. That shouldn't have been waved off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know how Jimmy does. Jimmy G likes to be Jimmy G and um, we lost it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's always next year. I I think next year will be the year. As long as everything stays together. (laughs) So we'll hope hope, hope for that to happen. But let's let's talk about Slammiversary because, I mean, you've been in some very historic matches. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you, you were in the first ever knockout ultimates X, which you then won that. And then, um, you went on to beat the legendary Mickey James to win said title. Now you're going to be in the first ever queen of the mountain at slam anniversary. Walk me through this. I mean, two historic things and your name's involved with them. I mean, can, can we say that's just, that's just the effect of flavor. The effect I think of so. flavor is that we make history every single time, you know, uh, First ever Ultimate X Knockouts winner, okay? Uh, beating the legendary Mickey James not once but twice. Can no current knockout say that? <laughs> and um, being a part of the uh, Queen of the Mountain match. I mean, I, I have to say this is flavor written all over it. And um, sorry to the other girls, but uh, there can never be another flavor like Tasha Steele's. Definitely for sure. And how do you like <laughs> feel when you look at that? Like, being a part of those historic matches. I mean, again, you're part of the first ever women's knockout. You're part of the first ever uh, women's queen of the mountain match. Like in your mind, when you go back and you've hung up the boots and you're done, you look back and say, I was first in this. I was first in that. And I mean, mm-hmm. you will knock. I was the first champion of the ultimate X. I was the first queen of the mountain. I mean, it, it feels so good. And it's like, that's something they can't take away from you because that's something you can put in, in the history books and have your legacy cement on that. So it's like, if I don't do anything else from here on, I know I have those things to fall back on. And it's, it's an amazing feeling. And I've done all this within two years of being an impact. So I picked the perfect time, even though it was during a pandemic I came through, but I picked the perfect time to be an impact because all of these things have happened and it's happened to me within uh, two years. So um, it feels great. And I know a lot of women um, that have came and gone with an impact has taken them like a little bit longer to, um, to accomplish things like this. So um, it feels great. And I love making history. I love being the history maker. I love being the greatest that beat the greatest. And I love bringing all that flavor. <laughs> Definitely for sure. And I want to get, a, I want to go back. And this is something that I sent out earlier in the year. This was back in January. This was right after, I believe this is actually maybe before uh, when I tweeted this out, uh, I, I, this is either before your match or after you had won the Ultimate X. And I tweeted this out that this is the tweet Real Stills will be the Impact Wrestling Knockout Women's Champion. This was 7 22, January 8th of this year. And then you fast forward to it now. And look at that. So now I have to need you to tweet out that Real T Stills will win the Queen of the Mountain match so I can. I can have that uh, happen for me at Slammiversary because I, I I think you manifest things very, very well. So uh, I'm going to need you to manifest that real quick. for me. So <laughs> as soon as we're done with this, I will push out that tweet real quick because I was I was sitting here looking at it and it was like it was kind of crazy because I was telling my buddy Eli, who does the show with me, I was like, OK, let me look at this. And I, I literally tweeted that out on January 8th, March 5th. I tweeted I subtweeted that and said, called it right here. And this was at Sacrifice. Yes, sir. You you manifest that flavor real good. So, and, um, 
You, We're you're definitely honorary gonna do it. flavor. You're an honorary flavor member. I'm That's what to, I I'm like to, to hear. Play. And you know, of course, uh, everything's gonna be going down at Slammiversary. Of course, you can still grab tickets right now. Impactwrestling.com. Uh, it is on June nineteenth, so it is a Sunday. So that's gonna be some fun stuff. So let me ask you this, because I mean, you, you you mentioned Mickey James. You beat her not once but twice. What's it like stepping into the ring with a legend such as herself? Oh man, oh, this is the part where I have to put her over, right? Okay, all right. I mean, let's we don't do have let's, to. Let's do it. Let's do it for like ten seconds, so she won't have to like take this recording and then keep it, you know, for certain reasons. Because I like to be petty against her, so she might do this against me. But uh, yeah. let's let's make this one a quick one, you know? No, um, it it has been amazing um, to just being in the ring with someone like Mickey James. So. Um, Defeating her and winning the knockout world championship from her was just just that cherry on top. Um, I never thought that I would be in the ring with someone like Mickey James. I've watched her for so many years. You know, um, I was the person that was upset with her because she had that feud with Trish and, you know, doing the things that she did with Trish. I was the one that was so pissed off. Like, why would she do that to, to Trish Stratus? Because I'm a Trish Stratus girl. So, yeah. Um, so watching her for, for so many years over the years, it was just like I never thought that I would be able to get in a ring with her. And um, to have that opportunity, um, the first thing in my mind was I can't let myself down and I have to step up my game because this is someone legendary. And um, if there's anyone that's going to help elevate my career 10 times more is stepping in a ring with someone who is a future Hall of Famer as uh, uh, Mickey James. So um, I definitely had to step my game up and um, I showed it and mm -hmm. I did some things and um, I took things to the next level. I made sure my feud uh, versus her was um, was up there more than her feud with Deanna. And, um, you know, I enjoyed my time in the ring with her. Um, I wish we had more time, but, you know. With Slammiversary being around the corner and being in Nashville, you just never know when Hardcore Country wants to come back and uh, come at this flavor again. Because I heard she's been missing it a lot. I heard she's been missing a lot of flavors. So, you know, you, you never know what happens at Slammiversary. Yeah, definitely. We'll find out come uh, June 19th. Again, you can still grab tickets right now at ImpactWrestling.com. So, with this being said... Speak, speaking of tickets, Tim. Speaking of tickets, you know... um. As I have to say, as Knockouts World Champion, it, it comes with a lot of perks, you know, it comes with a mm -hmm. lot of perks. And uh, one of the perks is, is that the champ gets to have her own flavor champ section. So you know what I'm going to do for you, Tim? You know what I'm going to do? Yeah. This, is, this is our first time being here on a Battleground podcast. You know, this is, this is, this is history right here. Mm -hmm. I am going to give away a certain amount of tickets to you. Really? To have some people join the Flavor Champ section. Now, normally in the Flavor Champ section, you've got, you know, some family, some close friends. But you know what? Just for you, because I did make you an honorary member of the Flavor Gang. All right. I got to send you your chain. I will give you a certain amount of tickets so you can come to Monday night's show in Nashville. So we'll That's have Monday what I like night taping in Nashville. I got tickets for you. Flavor Champ section on the way. Let's do it. That's dope. Well, uh, you heard it here first, so uh, I guess I got to find some friends because I only have two of them. Uh, oh, so, man. again, if you want to uh, come and hang out with us, uh, well, we'll give you all the details how you can grab some of those tickets to hang out with me and Eli because that's that's my friend. It's just me and Eli. We're that friend. So I need more friends. So hopefully this will help me get more friends. Um, but let, let's talk about Slammiversary for a little bit. Um being a fighting champ, I mean, you, you will put that belt on the line anywhere and everywhere. Is there anybody that you're kind of sitting here thinking, because you're seeing a lot of these companies work together, is there anybody on the list, on Tasha Still's hit list, of who she would like to at least wrestle and put the title up for, hmm. even though they won't win? You know, even though they won't win, but they can try. Let's see. Let's go outside of Impact a little bit, because uh, that Camille, man, I think Camille and I, we have... We've been this close, but we haven't we haven't gotten in that ring together yet. And I would have loved to step in the ring with Camille. She's a champ. I'm a champ. I mean, NWA Impact. I'm 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 sure they did their crossovers at one point. You know, Mickey. She brought my title over there to N NWA one time. So I wouldn't mind getting in the ring with Camille. 
you know. Yeah. We could do well, we could do our little champ champ uh champ champ uh match. I mean that that could I mean I could easily text her. She lives in Nashville as well. So tell her to come on through. Tell her I to mean, watch how the real champ how the real champ works against four other former knockouts and retain and still knock out world champion. I want to see her top that. That's going to be tough. Cause I mean, I I'm sitting here thinking about that and you, they would probably say that that's kind of like a David versus Goliath match between you and her. But I think but we you know, know who's going to come out victorious on that match. Exactly. Because I am the Boricua badass. I am the greatest that beats the greatest. There's nothing that I can't do especially beating down someone like Camille. You oh, feel me? That's on period. Oh. That is on period. For sure, for sure. So let's look past Slammiversary. You win Queen of the Mountain. What's the next game plan for you with Impact? Hmm. Like, do you want to go after the tag titles? Do you want to go after that social media title? I, I mean, what do you want to go after? What what's, I, what's the agenda? I want to remain as knockout world champion and remain and and – and continue that reign and be the longest reigning knockouts world champion because I believe Taya Valkyrie holds that title right now. And I want to I wanna break that record. That's, that's the ultimate goal right now. Okay, we can worry about the tag team championships later because I've already had that experience twice. But being the longest reigning knockouts world champion, that's the ultimate goal because I love being the history maker, the record breaker, the record setter, the trend setter. I love doing that. So that's the ultimate goal right now. The digital media championship that can go on, uh, the knockouts world tag team championships that will go on. Th these things will still be there. But right mm -hmm. now, being at the top, this is the flavor division. This is the flavor unit, the flavor division. I'm not giving these girls no chains though. Um, I want to remain at the top. I want to remain the queen. I want to put that stamp on it as being queen of the mountain. And the only way to being the queen of the mountain is retaining at Slammiversary, June 19th. So get ready, ladies. Ooh, it's going to be a fun one to watch. Ooh, yes, it is. It's going to be a match of the night. We gonna and do it. I, match of the night. I'll just go ahead and tweet that out as well. So we'll just manifest everything. Match of the night. And then Tasha's going to be winning queen of the mountain. And then she's going to break Taya's record. What else do I need to tweet out while we're at it? Do we? Uh... Uh, let, let, you know what? Let's manifest Fire and Flavor coming back together again. Okay, let's let's manifest Kiara getting her stuff together because, see, the reason why I turned on her is because she lost our tag titles last year at Slammiversary. Mm -hmm. So this year at Slammiversary, it's just a, a winning streak from here on out. So let's just hope Kiara Hogan got her stuff together in the realm and Fire and Flavor will reunite some somehow down the line. That's that's the plan. So we'll manifest that after we manifest Queen of the Mountain and beating Taya Valkyrie's uh, championship reign. So that's that's the yeah. goal. Uh, but before we let you go, is there anything you want to tell everybody? Of course, Slammiversary, June 19th, at the historic fairgrounds. That's pretty much where uh, the asylum was. It's a new asylum now. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not the old asylum, but there's going to be new memories made. Uh, of course, impactwrestling.com. Uh, but is there anything you want to let everybody know that's watching this, that's listening to this right now? Uh, before we sign off well i mean of course like i said like uh like you said uh june 19th slam anniversary um we're gonna be making some history so first ever queen of the knockouts uh queen of the mountain match for the knockouts we're gonna make some history tasha stills will retain you heard it here we're manifesting it um tasha stills will be the longest reign knockouts world champion we're manifesting that too also okay we have tapings the next day monday night you know you you we got some tickets for you on the way I got okay, it got yeah you. Flavor we'll be there champ section yes okay i want to see the flavor champ section you know um come through okay now if you guys can't come through to nashville watch it on uh impact impact that plus Watch it on Fight TV. You guys got to watch, 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 because you never know what's going to happen this anniversary. okay? Last year, we had some surprises, so you never know what's going to happen this year, all right? So is this, this, this right here is exclusive. Oh, snap. Uh, one last thing. Where can everybody follow you at on social media? Where's the best place to, to, to talk to you? Okay, you can follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at real t steals s t e e l z don't forget the z at the end okay come get some of this flavor every day all day because flavor is forever oh. 
Boom. There it is. Well, Tasha, thank you for coming on the show today. Sorry for butchering everything earlier. That is on me. Uh, that is 4 a.m. brain that's fried at the moment. Uh, you can ask Ross about those because there's been plenty of times where I've said stupid stuff and then realize that, oh, yeah, that's the wrong thing. Uh, but Tasha, again, thank you for coming on the show today. And we look forward to seeing you becoming the queen of the mountain and putting that little check mark in your uh, resume. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's on period.